Hey guys, this is Taylor from Sneaky Evil Spawn, and today I'm showing you guys how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. And what this mod, well, shaders, I should say, does is basically makes Minecraft look like this, which is my desktop background. Ugh, my desktop background. And just to get this, I went into Minecraft and took a picture, a screenshot actually, of Minecraft. So this is that's exactly what you're gonna see. No Photoshop, nothing, nothing. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to this link that right here, which I have, and will will be in the description and you're going to get here which is on the minecraft forums so you're going to scroll down a little bit and then you'll see all the pictures of the actual creators or not the creators but other people what they what they've seen as a video of what it looks like but i'm also going to have some gameplay at the end showing you guys what this does and how amazing it is so the first thing you want to do is install optifine you know, it says a but right now it's up to c so you're going to scroll down a little bit and you'll see C standard. Then right here you see download 2. Click this. Wait for the add fly 5 second link thing. And then the reason why I picked 2 though was for add fly because I enjoy. I like using add fly so much better than the other ones. I don't know. I just, I just think it's safer. I don't know. Not, not that it matters. All right, so while that's downloading, which it's already done for me, you can go back to here and then do download. And I'm using Windows computer, so... This is this is basically a Windows tutorial. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do it if you're not using Windows, but this is basically Windows. All right, and make sure you do not click if you have an advertisement like this. <clears throat> make sure you do not click Start and Download. Wait for the skip ad because if you don't, you'll probably I don't know ads will pop up and it'll just be a mess. All right, so once you get that, you you've downloaded everything you're gonna need. So the first thing oh whoops, the first thing you're gonna do is open up. Sonic, oh, what did I just do? Okay, open up Sonic Ether's uh, Unbelievable Shaders, and then you're gonna double click installer.exe, and then I said accept something. All right, oh, and I forgot to mention you you are going to need to have a clean jar, and to do that, when you run Minecraft, let me just show you guys just in case, you're gonna go to options and do force update, so you get a clean jar and everything, and then uh, so yeah. Once you get a clean jar, you just do install mods. So it's gonna install the shaders, repacking jars, and then once you get this installation complete right here, that means your installation is complete. So then you're gonna have to locate the dot Minecraft file, and if you don't know how to do that, you just hit click start, and then do percent app data percent, and then hit enter, and then what is this? Okay. Uh, wait a second, let me redo that. Oh, sorry, do run, and then... <laughs> percent app data percent, and then hit OK, and then this will open up. You're going to go into dot .minecraft, and then you'll see the bin folder. Now, you're, only, you're not going to have all these jars. These are just extra jars that I have. You're going to see just your Minecraft jar. So you're going to double-click it, and then you're going to you're going to delete meta.inf. Because if you if you don't delete that, you will not be able to actually do any of this. And I forgot to mention, you will need WinRAR. And I'm not going to show you guys how to get that, but there's a link. I have another video. If you just go to my channel, you you might be able to find it. It's how to install Griefcraft. It shows also how to install WinRAR. But uh, once you do that, once you get that open with WinRAR, you're going to go to your downloads or wherever you downloaded the Optifine to. You're gonna double click it and all these class files you're just gonna control A to to click highlight them all, drag them into just the Minecraft.jar. Once that's done, you are set and ready to play with the shaders. So now I'm just gonna open up Minecraft and I'll show you some gameplay. Okay guys, so I, I left out a uh, something that it's very important to actually get the shader. So you have to go into the mods folder, and this is in the set Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder, and then shaders alternate shaders and then shadows optifine required you can do control a to select them all and then whoops and then you're going to also open up the jar at the same time and go into the shaders folder which is a new folder that's not normally there you're going to drag all these shaders in now once you do that you're going to have to go all the way back to the sonic ethers unbelievable shaders folder where you where the installer was and you're going to rerun the installer so let's redo that now install the mods now once you get this now it should work cuz I for completely forgot to uh, put that in. Alright, but now it should definitely work. Yes, this program installed correctly. 
I'm going to run Minecraft. And then, nothing new on the, the main screen, but then once you go into the new world, bang. Oh, instantly, you can already see a difference. I mean, you can see my shadow right there, which is awesome, which you won't see. All the animals, as like the sheep you can see, has its own shadow, like a complete shadow. It still has that little circle that was there, but it has its own shadow. Every, the pigs, it just it makes the game look even more amazing than it is. It adds so much to the game that it's unbelievable. Like, this looks like a completely new game. It, I, I don't even know what to say. When I first saw this, I was like, I did not believe that this could happen. I think this is actually right where I took my desktop background screenshot. I don't know. Yeah, actually it was here. And <laughs> the deserts look extremely bright with this. Oh my gosh. But it still looks amazing. So now I'm just going to show you some gameplay, just straight gameplay, just walking through this, uh, some features of it. So before I do that, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Hope this really helped you guys. And if you were actually looking for how to install this mod or just looking at what it actually looks like, because I am showing some gameplay right now. But I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, it'd be awesome. So thank you. Yeah.